You sure do know her well. Oh, well, she's practically a sister to me, after all. Hang tough, Nine. In sad times, you need to force yourself to smile. Otherwise, your heart will surely break. And we are back. So last time, things went really badly for Team Londo Bell. Um, Sosuke's Arbalist got blown up. Um, but we got some upgrades for the surviving uh, Mithril mobile suits. And uh, ASs, rather, to take the terms. And... We also got uh, um, Melda, one of the pilots from um, Gamelins, were brought here on our side. Currently, um, Sasuke is in bad shape, but we'll see how this turns out here. Next mission, we're going to want to have Boss with us. You surrendered to us of your own free will. How long are you planning to keep silent? Give it up, Yamamoto. She's still getting her head together. Yeah, but... Still the combative type, I see. You have a common cowlick. I wonder if it's helmet hair. I wonder if it's, um, helmet hair, basically. What? This isn't the world we're from, but it would appear on my planet, Terrons are pretty much the same. The fact that Terrons from this world are destroying their own planet with their own hands and killing all of their compatriots here. Not just one group of extreme individuals. Applying that to all Earthlings itself is an outrageous injustice, wouldn't you agree? You're right. Huh? What's the matter? Didn't think you'd agree so readily. I like to think I can see things that I see things in a fair and just way. That I can tell Sabine is a whole different sort of person than all of you. Oh uh, right, this is Sabine Sharu, commander of the Jupiter Empire. That guy and some Neo Zeon folks are disregarding the lives of their compatriots on Terran. Regardless of the circumstances, there as a soldier, no, as a human being, I can't ignore that. Ensign. And the man commanding the Gimlin feet on this planet right now is the same sort of person. Grim to Goer. He can act commander lying just to polish his own record. I could never forgive him for that. Why is it that Gamble has allied itself with Neo Zeon? For supplies. That's the only reason, so the bond between them is very weak. That makes sense. Gamble is, is a star expanding empire. Um. And with the Star Spanning Empire, because Star Spanning Logistics to keep everything running and keep everything supplied. So, consequently, you can design your ships with a, well, source of supply in mind. On the other hand, with um, the Yamato, it's designed to be completely self-sufficient because it's on a big, long voyage off by itself with no nobody to turn to, and so it's got that in mind. So as soon as the opportunity presents itself, Gamelus will probably break away from Neo Zeon. What opportunity would that be? The opportunity to take control of the Yamato. Again, that makes sense. The Yamato has, I believe that's the way we talked about before, I'm sort of matter fabricator. That would basically mean that as long as Gamelus had the raw materials, they could just toss whatever they need in there and get what they need back, and whatever waste products and stuff in there, and get whatever supplies they need back out. They want to capture the Yamato, not destroy it? The Yamato's wave motion gun opened the dimensional rifts. So they feel that it could also smash the dimensional barrier, that too. In other words, they want to use the Yamato to get back to their own world. Of course, I'm not a technical officer, so I'm not familiar with the details. Lieutenant Kodai? Oh, a motion gun that can smash even a dimensional barrier. If you combine that with a parallel bosun jump, 
And you can control the destination, I'm sure. Thank you, Linson Dietz. We appreciate your cooperation. A show of gratitude. You really are special Terrans. That's not true, which is why I want us to learn from all kinds of Earthlings here. Yamamoto, from today forward, Ensign Dietz is no longer a prisoner. She is a collaborator. Take good care of her. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard, Ensign Dietz. As long as I'm acting as an individual, I don't need a rank. Just call me Melda. In that case, call me Akira. Alright. Good. All of a sudden, you're close friends. Does this mean we're best? Does this mean we're best friends? Yup. I could tell when I fought against her that we were kindred spirits. Koda, you understand, don't you? That even if they don't talk to each other at all, fighter pilots can understand each other just by flying the same skies. Yeah, I can understand that. As long as I'm a collaborator now, I want to take part in the fighting, even against Gamalus, naturally. And no matter what, I'm going to return to my home planet and press charges against Commander Goer. I under understood. I'll convey your intentions to the commander. Finished with your conversation, Kodai? So that's a Gamelin, eh? Looks like we do, except with blue skin. What are you talking about, Banager? Banager, this girl is anything but ordinary. She's a real super cutie. Uh... Okay. What's going on here, Kisaragi? I'm sorry, sir. I tried to stop them, but they insisted on seeing her. My apologies. As my assessment of her, I, I just, ah. as my assessment of her, I reported her that objectively she was beautiful, which apparently, which is apparently what caused this ruckus. It's the first time our world has come in contact with intelligent extraterrestrial life forms, after all. I'm sorry, Incendeeds. Apologize. Allow me to apologize for my rudeness. Don't worry about it. I got plenty of curious looks on Neo Zeon as well. Anyway, from today forward, she's not a prisoner or an envoy. She's one of us. Glad to be on board. The pleasure is all ours. Boss, wait. This is a job only I can handle. Boss, Kurt. It's people like you who give Earthlings a bad name. She's absolutely right. You guys are an embarrassment to Earth. Apologies, Velda. I, um... Velda? No, no, don't worry about it. I've got nothing against being complimented by guys like this. Is she getting embarrassed? That girl seems surprisingly innocent. I vow to cooperate until I return to my planet. Once again, thanks for your support. One thing, Melda. We're fighting enemies other than Neo Zeon and its allies. I don't mean to scare you. But we may encounter enemies the likes of which you can't even imagine. Enemies I can't even imagine? That's right. A monster who carries around his own severed head. A monster- A soldier who carries around his own severed head. A monster with a body that's half man, half woman. We fight foes like that as well. What the heck are they talking about? So let me tell you about this guy called Gona Guy. The experiment was a success. Great! Well then, those guys won't. Those guys will become part of our fighting force, and they won't go berserk like the Kidora. You know, Brocken, you have a German-sounding last name. You have this, uh, the, the monocle and the armor, and the monocle, the uniform. I think you're supposed to be implied to be Nazi. I think. You've outdone yourself, Dr. Hell. Using mechanical parts of his cells and controlling them the same way as mechanical beasts. Rocket. Oh, Rocket, I'm giving that one to you. Now you go use it to dispose of Koji Kabuto and his gang. Thank you. I'm very grateful for this. You can be sure I'll be bringing back good news. <laughs> After all, just kick back your heels back on, kick your heels back on Vados Island and watch me swing into action. All right then, Doctor Hell, I will. I'll take off without delay. Mm. Ashra, you don't look happy about this. If that is your command, I will follow it. 
Your wounds from the last battle haven't healed yet. You should recuperate for a while longer, Ashura. I can't afford to lose an important fighter like you. Try to understand my position on this. Thank you for your kind words. I humbly accept the compliment. But what is this feeling? Something stir I've been stirring deep within me. Mazinger's new power, then the flight of the new Geta robots. After seeing those things, something came to life in me. Am I having doubts of some kind? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.